It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Bulls and the Pioneers, next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to British Columbia and the gleaming jewel that is Vancouver, Canada. Tonight we move on to week two of the preseason and we've got a compelling matchup here as it'll be the Bulls of San Antonio taking on the pioneers of Vancouver. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in Send this one away. Kenny Duwagu now out of his end zone. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out, a guy who's top 30 all-time in yards and touchdowns. Not bad for a fourth-round pick back in 2012. Captain Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well, and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing his Cousins. Into the hands of the rookie Jordan Addison. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 16 yards, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Throwing, Cousins. Slant route, and he's got Addison. That'll give him eight that time. And now one yard to go on third down. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and nine. Cousins. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worked this off yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? On third down, Cousins. They sack him back at the 42. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. So a change of possession here on the punt. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is a guy who has spent a decade as a starter in this league, the 2019 Comeback Player of the Year, Ryan Tannehill. And one of the things that has really impressed me about Ryan Tannehill has been his perseverance. Early in his career, didn't have the success that he desired. 
Had some injuries that slowed his development, but he kept working at his craft, and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw, Tannehill. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Meanwhile, Tannehill throws on target to Burks. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Haskins trying to pick it up. Well, hang on here. DeAndre Hopkins is shaken up, so we're going to have a pause for an injury. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. On first and ten, it's Spears. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Marcus Davenport brought him down, the UTSA product. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. The Spears with another carry. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and 10. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. A throw left side to start out, that's complete. And he'll be out right at the 35. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Just the first quarter of attack, they're going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a Pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Wiggles free. And he's got some space here. Still on his feet. He's on his way. And finally down at the nine-yard line. 74 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. So they had it bottled up, able to make a man miss, and then boom, off to the races. And it's how he made him miss. A little bit of strength, too. Had to work through contact to get him off of him. And then once he did that, now he put his agility to use and took off. So first and goal from the nine-yard line. Cousins. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jordan Addison. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Pioneers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. 
That, of course, all set up by the big run on the play prior. They took advantage right away with the touchdown throw. And you mentioned advantage. Yeah, we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. On first down, it's Tannehill. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill out to his left. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Hand off to Spears. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Tannehill now to throw. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Now third down and seven. Now Tannehill. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Off the and the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Running left, Haskins. Try to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now here's a give to Spears. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Under pressure, and he's going to go down. Tannehill sacked. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10.
Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now Cousins. It throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson. And that'll make it third down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Returning it is Moore. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, San Antonio in possession. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Here's Spears on second down. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And it is caught. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Here's a run by Spears. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. They work now on second and nine. Right back to Spears. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he, picking up that first down? Some have described him as a diamond in the rough. With a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. Ten more there and another first down. On the toss, it's Spears. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. They'll run with Spears. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And it's caught. Touchdown. Chigakonkwo from three yards out. And the Bulls are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point up and good by Folk, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Cousins to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First catch for the NFL's leader in receiving yards a year ago, and a first down. But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Cousins and a throw here caught by Addison. And they got it right across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. From their own 40 to the other 40. The gain of 20 leads to first and 10. And that's complete to KJ Osborne. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. From the red zone now, Cousins. And it's caught. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson from 19 yards away. And his guys have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Back out comes San Antonio. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now Spears to begin the drive. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here's second and three. And now a run with Spears. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. On first and ten, Tannehill. And brought in downfield by Burks. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. They'll run on first down. Spears taken down at the 47-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Tannehill. That's complete downfield to Conquo. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. Yeah. 
out of the gun to give the Spears. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, only in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Ryan Tannehill doing it himself from nine yards out. And the Bulls are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. On for the extra point is Folk. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A 10-play drive that time. And a nine-yard run on the end of it. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Kirk Cousins now gearing up to lead this offense back out there. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of the route, too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's Cousins. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slam. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Cousins now from the 50. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Breaks a tackle. Now an alley. Touchdown! Alexander Madison, 35 yards. And his guys are going to take the lead. And that run going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. Joseph now to have the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown scamper from Alexander Madison. Chris Moore returning it. The return man, Chris Moore. Wrap up. Still moving. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back out comes San Antonio. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, 
more than enough time to string a few completions together, Rishienzo, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Phillips. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. It's complete, Burks. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. A pass complete to Moore. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On second down, here's Tannehill. That'll be complete to a Conquo. Now Tannehill saying, let's get to the line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Traylon Burks in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bulls have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. Full connects on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one, and then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, at the very least, you can't say it's not competitive. All tied up at halftime. And for the call of the second half, we get you back out to Brandon God. This taken in at the goal line. Pushing his way through. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that. It's a foot race. Inside the 10. And all the way in for the touchdown. Josh Wiley, 73 yards. And the Bulls come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Extra point up and good by Folk, and they will take a seven-point lead. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. 15 yards on the play, first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Dobbs to throw. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Dobbs. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Chandler. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Here's Dobbs to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Back out comes San Antonio. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. First down. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. Check down complete to Haskins. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's a second and five. Levis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. in anyway. Boy, plenty of distance there as he banks it in. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. And the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's Chandler. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Dobbs to throw. He finds his man, complete, that's Chandler. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll give this to Akers running right. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They'll go again here with Akers. This is how offensive coordinators earn their money. He throws ahead of the curve after first down. Got seven yards first down play, but then you get stuffed there on second down, maybe just a yard out of it. Now your advantage has evaporated. Dobbs is throwing. And he is caught. Gets around him. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first and ten, Dobbs. And he's got his man on the out route. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Out of the gun, Dobbs. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Joseph's got it. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Back out comes San Antonio. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Levis sets up to throw here. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith, and this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Now, he's a high draft pick, so maybe a bit of a mulligan, but you never want to throw a preseason interception, especially as a rookie. No, but this is the time to do it, right? Let's, let's get the kinks out. He's still got to learn how to read coverages, does to learn the entire offense, has to see how he fits with the players around him. The bottom line is what you said right in the beginning. He's a high draft pick. They want him on the field sooner rather than later. So let's keep giving him some reps and seeing what they have. They'll run on first down with Akers. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. On play action, it's Dobbs. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Now Dobbs. And this is going to be incomplete. 
<laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. They'll run for it with Akers. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. They only needed about four or five inches there. Relied on the big guys up front and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. On second down, Dobbs. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now Dobbs. Forced out to his left. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might lob it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. The kick by Joseph is good. And that'll bring him back within four. Well, the three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation, they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. They're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So it'll be stopped here for no game. And third and eight now. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Brings up second and two. Levis to throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Levis back to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Off. And that flag accepted. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Levis from the gun. 
And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Levis to throw once more. That's to the tight end, Wiley. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Now Levis. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Straight ahead, here's Haskins. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The offense on third down tonight. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and six. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Levis looking to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Levis. And it's caught. Touchdown. Nick Westbrook Akine from a yard out. And the Bulls will add to their fourth quarter lead. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Full connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Back to throw, it's Levis. 
complete on the quick throw to Moore. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Now Haskins on a give left side. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Haskins trying to pick it up. Powering forward. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Brings up second and five at the 48 yard line. Moore, the man in motion. Second down, here's Levis. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Third down and one. Running for it, Haskins. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Levis out of the shotgun now. Completes this to Colton Dell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. In motion is Westbrook Aquina. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. A run here with Chestnut. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. In motion is Westbrook Aquina. On second down, here's a run from Haskins. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Fultz kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by two touchdowns. A little under a minute 50 remaining. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. Dobbs. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And now a tough spot here. This is third and 10. Now Dobbs. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And this is four down territory here. They know down two scores at this late stage, 10-yard passes aren't going to do it. So they took the shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Dobbs. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Christian Fulton. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Hassan Haskins, 26 yards. And the Bulls have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The throw down the field caught by his running back. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, CD, this is the ideal situation in the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful. They've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. Brought down by D.J. Wanham. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 39-yard line. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. 
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Good night, everybody.